Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, I will explain how to create top down assembling in CATIA V5. Top down assembling is nothing but we need to create a part in the assembly workbench itself and we assemble in the same workbench. To create a part in this assembly workbench, we need planes and we need all part options part design options sketcher options to get that see here in product structure tool select this part option and just select product option on specification tree then you can see planes access system showing on the screen now we need toolbars also to get into sketch to apply features like pad pocket whatever for that just open this part one you can also rename rename this by right click on that going into properties you can rename see here part number and part name you can rename whatever you require then open this then double click on part body i double click on part body see here we got uh, all part design options then i select plane here i go to sketch like we create in part modeling then i just create a sample sketch I apply constraint some 15 mm and I need a hole at the corner so I created a circle exit pad so this we created pad and i change color then we created a, a part in the assembly workbench then minimize this we need to get back into assembly again assembly workbench just double click this one then I want to create another plate then again we need to do the same procedure see select part go for s then open this we got a part part 2 open this here we have a part body so we need to get into this part 2 then double click on that right click define in work object i select plane sketch i created another rectangle same size I gave exit pad some 10 mm I give I change color for this then we need to get back again into assembly just minimize that double click on product then we need to apply constraint we need to apply constraint for this for this base part i apply fixed component then i open smart move 
I coincide this whole axis and this whole axis go for OK. Then I move this part. Then I apply contact or offset constraint offset. I select this surface and I select this surface. some 20 mm I offset update then the two plates have been constrained so see like this if you want to reduce the gap double click on the constraint again Offset constraint, not 1 mm, I give 10 mm. Then I want to insert a pin into these two plates. Then again same procedure, product, part and do select product then you can see part 3 open this double click on product part body right click define in work object then plane you need to select plane to get into sketch so for pin I created sketch like this Seven point five as I gave whole size of a uh, of fifteen mm. This may be fifty mm. I enter 12 mm exit shaft select this profile and select this axis I apply a color I minimize this then we get into product again double click in double click on that then first apply coincidence select this cylindrical surface and select this cylindrical surface so that both the axes have been coincided then go into contact or offset I go for contact constraint now I select this surface and I select this surface now go for update like this one by one you need to create a part create parts in the assembly workbench itself and you need to Assemble by applying constraints in the assembly workbench. So this is a process to create a top-down assembling. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, share and subscribe Imperial CAD system.